Hey, y'all, this is Matt from TPSTool.com. Um, I'm here to answer a question I get asked quite often, and that is, can you set a 4-pin TPS, unless this guy's got 4 pins, uh, using the TPSTool.com Pro Meter? And the answer is very often yes. Um, perhaps not on all. If there's one you have a question about, send me an email, I'll help you out. But in this case, yes, for sure, absolutely. Um, this one is on an Arctic Cat, this throttle body is from an Arctic Cat M8, also used on the F8 and the 800 Crossfire. This one is from the 2008 era. Uh, so if you've got one from that model year, this will look familiar to you. Um, for this TPS, we're going to use this bottom pin, the next pin up, skip one, and the top pin. And what we're going to use to attach those is this universal adapter. This is included in every one of the uh, TPS Tool uh, Pro kits. And in older videos, we explain how to make it, but now these are, these are included in every single kit. So if you buy one, it's going to come with it. Um, so all you have to do is take these little guys and they, they plug into the individual pins in the TPS. And first we're going to plug in is the bottom pin here. We're going to use the green wire. This is our 5 volt supply to the TPS. The next pin up, I'm hoping this is focusing. It's tough to see through the camera. Uh, the next pin up is red. That's going to be the feedback. So we're going to plug this guy in. There we go. And the skip one. And the top one is the ground. The black pin. The black wire. Okay, so let me see if I can get in there where you can see. So we've got the green is a 5 volt supply here. Uh, the red is the feedback. That's what would go back to your ECU on your engine. Skip one. And the black is the ground. And that fourth pin is used for a different type of feedback that we don't need to set the position of the TPS at this time. Okay, so all you have to do now is grab your TPS tool.com pro meter. And we're going to put the, let's see if I can hold this where you can see it. Uh, the black goes in the ground. Red goes into FB or feedback, and green goes into 5 volts. Turn it on, and there we go. That's our reading. And now you can see as I open the throttle, the reading goes up. I close the throttle, the reading goes down. And that shows a properly working TPS because it's smooth all the way through, no jumps or skips. Uh, so that means this TPS is functioning correctly. Um, and if you wanted to make an adjustment, then uh, this is where you'd make the adjustment here according to whatever motor you've got. Um, and that's how you do it. Just that simple. And again, if you have any questions, uh, tpstool.com, shoot me an email, leave a comment. I'll help you out. This universal adapter is included in every uh, tpstool.com pro powered kit. Uh, you can see how you can plug into the individual pins. And if you have a question as to whether it works on your TPS, please send me an email and I will help you out as best I can. You can find my email address uh, at the very top of the frequently asked questions at tpstool.com. Thank you very much.